Hi everyone, this is AJ of Homeschool Adventure. Welcome back to our channel. Today's video is a part two of my children's homeschool curriculum for 2020-2021. Now in our previous video, I've shared to you an in-depth review of my fourth graders homeschool curriculum. This video, I will be sharing to you my first graders homeschool curriculum. Now, if you're new to our channel, we are a homeschooling family of six. We've been homeschooling for four years already, and we are on board in our fifth year. On our first three years, we're doing traditional homeschooling, which means we have a provider and we are enrolled into their program. But since last year, we chose and we decided to do independent homeschooling, which means we choose our own materials to use for our homeschooling. But last year is different from this year. Last year, most of our books are still from our previous provider, though we were no longer enrolled to their program. This year is very special to us. This is what we considered as our um, official independent homeschooling because me, my husband, and the kids personally had picked all the materials that we needed for this school year. Now, I if I have not mentioned before, I am blending both of my kids, which means that most subjects, I do, uh, I do it together. We have subjects like science, arts, religion, and uh, foreign language. And so I have already shown those subjects in my previous video with my fourth grader. And so if you have not checked it, please do. Today, I'm going to be showing to you the good and the beautiful math and language arts that my first grader is using. Now, this is an in-depth review because we have already been into, I think, around seven weeks into our homeschooling for 2020-2021. So we've started first week of July and this video is taken on the third week of August. I mean, sorry, third week or second week? All right, yes. Oh, okay, we are in the middle of the third week. Now, I'm going to flip over the camera and then I'm going to show you a much more in-depth flip through of the books or the materials that he is using. So, let's get started. <music> So these are the books that I'm going to be showing to you. I have also a video of all the books from my fourth grader to my first grader as well as to my preschooler, the, the books that we got from The Good and the Beautiful. So I'm just going to be showing to you the books that my children are not blended. So these are my first grader's language arts, which comes with this book, the level one course book, the level one reader, and we also have our math one course book. This is a part one. There's also a part two that I've just cut, kept in our bookshelf and I will be maybe showing to you that one once we are finished with a part one. And with math one uh, course book, it comes with this um, pages that is about uh, place value charts and everything. I'm gonna be showing it to you later. Now we also have our handwriting which I totally forgot to mention okay they each have their own handwriting and uh, this book that we got from the bookstore jury bookstore uh, about dinosaurs so let's first look into our handwriting so the handwriting is sectioned into two one and a two and we have already I think we have we are already halfway with the section one so what is really nice about the handwriting is that it's not only focused with just purely writing down letters or words well for my first grader letters but it is also incorporated with your um, shapes and lines and coloring okay making waves so just like with my first uh, with my fourth grader you have a on the first part of uh, first half of the page you're going to have this all of these 
letters that you're going to trace and copyright and then in the bottom half you will have pictures that you're going to draw or you're going to to color it's the same with the section two there's also tracing coloring and adding adding more colors and drawing to the picture i think i saw some puzzles in here too tracing coloring yes there's a maze okay. so far we're loving the handwriting from the good and the beautiful now we're moving on to our language arts and literature level one course book now i've mentioned that we have already finished around seven weeks six to seven weeks into our homeschooling since we started very early last july first week and so we have answered a few pages already and uh, a few lessons already so what i do since i printed this one uh, one print per page only we didn't do um, double-sided printing because our printer didn't can't do that and I have to manually do it and so I decided I'm not going to do that one um, and so this is a bit thick and it's heavy than the usual and so my child or my children are having a hard time carrying this one and using this and so my style is to get a few lessons from this page which we are able to do in a week and then I transfer it into a clipboard so that's what I usually do all right so level one at the glance we have phonics and reading we have grammar usage and punctuation we have literature spelling and writing and we also have art so there are a lot of subjects incorporated in just the language and arts and this is actually a new edition there was a previous edition for this one but i don't know if they're still selling that one but this is the one that we got um this is actually free of charge so it is free you go check out their website goodandbeautiful.com and all their language arts from levels one to five are free the only thing you're going to do is print them if you are ready to print them all right okay so we also have phony cards the phony cards i laminated them in one into one page instead of cutting them into small pieces and then laminating them and make, maybe making some booklets out of them so what i did is just laminate them as a whole and it still works fine for us we're still practicing this one one to two pages a day with a phonic sound and it also has samples on the back like this one and it still works fine so i just made it into a book All right, wait. okay i'm just going to show you so on the first lesson we did some consonant blends now i've mentioned to you that this is the second time that my child is doing grade one last year he was also in grade one but there are a, a lot of uh, maybe lessons that we have not tackled in grade one especially in language and arts or maybe in english alone and so we've decided that we are going to be going back to grade one for this year so he's in the first grade again and so this is not very hard for him because he knows most of the words already just that i'm helping him how to you know divide it into syllables so it's easier for him to read it but reading wise um he's improving already he he he's more aware of the words that we have here with the short vowels like stamps swan and drum he knows this one we're just uh, familiarizing with using long vowel sounds okay long and with each lesson almost 
Um, each of the lessons have activities like this that you have to cut out and then you're going to uh, put the acorns into the proper places like long vowel boxes and the short vowel boxes and so this is something that my first grader would really like something that is hands-on And there's lots of pictures, paintings as well. And then more words and reading sentences. And then writing. There's also writing here as well. All right. And this is our level one reader for the language arts. So inside are stories that you can read along with your kids so this is the reader it is designed to be used alongside the level one course book now what I did with this one is I printed it into, into an entire page and so it looks really really big but it's fine because it's really nice it's also colorful and it's easier to be read so we have already finished with our first story we're going to be doing the next one Hopefully, I actually, we've actually read this one, I think the first page, yeah, the first page, and we're going to be continuing this one. With my son, my style is we try to read an entire story just for him to be able to understand more what the story is about. Uh, it's also good if you want to like read a few pages at a time maybe two pages today and then continue it on the next day it will be up to you and your child but for me for my child we try to do um, one story a day now if you, if you've seen my previous video with my first grader um, with his last year's curriculum I've shown to you the pre-primer that we are we were using from our previous provider and so I think we're going to incorporate that one this year because that one has shorter stories this one is a little bit longer but it's fine not really that long but we'll see okay see that one a hunt with dad he likes this because it has a daddy in it Okay, there's also a day in the farm and all the other stories that you could see so you could see that it's really colorful it's really vibrant and it helps the child imagine while he is reading so you can see the picture as well so that is from the language arts and so this is our math one course book again what i do with this one is remove the lessons remove the pages from here and transfer it into our clipboard so we are already up into level 12 actually level 12 is lesson 12 is already finished we, we sometimes we do skip pages because it depends on how my son is interested with the subject and so what i do is sometimes i skip uh, pages and <laughs> lessons but we we go back to the other lessons that we haven't tackled whenever um whenever it is an, uh, appropriate because i've said i've said to you before my son has already uh finished some of his math in last year grade one math <laughs> So there are also stories that you could read with your child if your child is a good listener and loves reading, read aloud, then you can do a story and the story goes on into each and every lesson. So we have, okay, there's also a lesson planner that I'm going to be showing to you in a while. So usually the first part of the lesson goes 
the same you have to write the, the date today's date and then there is a one more one less that you have to fill in and in this part you have like a pattern that you have to continue we also have a place value chart that I will show you okay this is my place value chart there's a ones a tens and a hundreds and there's this piece of paper that you're going to cut and then it is divided into 10 and then each day you're going to color it and then you're going to put it if it's less than 10 then you're going to put it in the ones place and then once it is um, 10 already then you have to move it to here in the tens place so they could understand what is a place of value we also have a lot of activities that goes along with this one so this is the paper that you're going to cut okay we have this one the 10 gram this is the things that you're going to do with your 10 gram we do not have i i don't know if we they have they actually deliver the the actual 10 gram pieces but since we've um the, if we purchased this one as a PDF, then we don't have that one. But a I bought a a, a, a ten gram from from Amazon that I'm also going to be showing to you in a while, and we haven't tried it yet. But hopefully, it goes well with this one since they have the same shapes. Just that I think we don't have the bigger triangle. But we'll we'll figure it out. I think it's around less than fifty dirhams and well it's made in china but it's all right it's made out of wood and it's for three plus it comes along with um i think this is oh 155 pieces in it which is fine for my children okay my little one is here <laughs> hey there what are you doing and it also comes along with this um yes this card so we'll just have to be careful because my little one is trying to get his hands on this small pieces. <laughs> all right. Okay. Wait. Oops. All right. No, that's not for you. All right. The, the key that comes along with it. Now this one I'm planning to, this is also one of the games, dominoes, and you have to cut this one out and then laminated it and then this is also part of the game we have wheels races we have island adventures we have barnyard bonanza we have ladder races a lot of games double dash what else oh, another okay we have the fractions and all of the other games that comes with this one a lot of cutting and laminating that i'm going to be doing and then it comes with a game's instruction game instructions i mean so there's a lot of activities that is for your child so if he is a kinesthetic learner then this is a good good curriculum a language arts for him in the book as well i'm going to show you i don't know if it's here there's also a okay we are here equal and not equal the first part again of the lessons are almost the same patterns one more one less okay we did that one already I'm just going to show you okay another cutting and laminating uh, and gluing sticking on me so that's nice for my son like that one okay all right this is like a reminder here it says for kinesthetic learners all right Place the 1 to 20 numbers and claim cards in order on the floor, creating a large number line. Instead of pointing to the numbers on the small number line, have the child walk behind his or her large number line to solve the equations. So again, this is for all kinds of, all, all learning styles. This is another one that we made, odd or even. If the answer is odd, then you are going to choose this side here if it's i mean if it's even you choose this side here and then if you, it's odd you're going to choose this one and then you're going to be able to make your face and this is what my son did 
so cute. All right, I think we're already into addition. Okay, and then we have sides. Oh, I'm also going to be showing to you the planner that goes along with this with this corset. We also book find this one and laminated it as well. So it's about oops <laughs> Jethro and Okay, the course instructions. And then you have to write the days of the month. Now what I did is my fourth grader helped my first grader to write the the, the 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 dates of the month and then we try to color the dates that we have already um, the, the days that have passed already though we did not finish it all but yeah that is how we did it okay we didn't finish it yet so this is since um, he loves dinosaurs who doesn't want who doesn't love dinosaurs I mean I think all the kids love dinosaurs even my my two and a half year old girl loves dinosaurs. So this is a handbook of dinosaurs by Miles Kelly and we got this one from Jurier Bookstore. What's nice about this book, it's it's not that thick. Again, it's um, a little bigger than my hand, but inside you're going to be learning a lot about dinosaurs. And this is a hands on book because there is a, I'm gonna show you, okay, what is, okay. Okay, like for example, this one. So this is when the dinosaur, well, when can you see the dinosaur? So it is in late Jurassic period. When, when did it live, okay? And this is the dinosaur. This is its data, Na Latin name, pronouns, uh, what the name means, the group, the diet, the length and the weight of the dinosaur. It's time that it existed. Where can you work? Can the fossils be found in USA, Africa, and Australia? And the fossil spines are here. So that's America. This is Africa, and this is Australia. And then the super fact. And here in the bottom side, there's my notes and pictures. So you can write anything here. If your child knows how to how to write already, that he could write something here. So my son described Allosaurus as something that's scary and then he tried to draw a picture of this one so here you can see it talks about um, Allosaurus and where did you or have you seen this Allosaurus whether it's in books TV films museums or the internet so it goes on with the other so <laughs> Ankylosaurus is a great dinosaur so he drew a, the tail of the Ankylosaurus all right, so he just did two, but there are a lot of dinosaurs here. He actually has a lot of other dinosaur books, but for this year, this is the one that he picked. Well, I will be, I think I'm going to be sharing to you a another video about the read alouds, the books that we use for our read alouds. So hopefully you're going to be, uh, you're gonna watch out for that one. All right. All right, that's it for my first graders homeschool curriculum for 2020-2021. Again, uh, these are only some of the books that he's using. Please go check out my fourth grade's homeschool curriculum because you can also see the other subjects and the materials that we are using for my first grader. So again, they are blended in some of the subjects like science, art, religion, and foreign language. Now, other than that, they have each their own books. So I think I most probably will be showing also to you my preschoolers materials, though he's not really doing a lot of things as of now and homeschooling. But anyways, I'm going to be also showing to you that one on our next video. So if you haven't um, subscribed yet, please do give this one a thumbs up if you like this video and if it is helpful to you. If you have any questions or if you have any suggestions, please write down in the comments below. And thank you guys for watching, everyone. See you on our next video. Bye-bye.